Delegation can be a tricky skill to get right. Do it too little and you're a perfectionist or micromanager. Do it too much and you'll be seen as shirking your own responsibilities. Still, delegation is one of the more important skills a leader can have to successfully manage workflows. You need to know what tasks are yours to complete and what tasks are good to hand over to someone else. The ability to organise projects and tasks successfully empowers team members and makes for a more efficient team and working environment. The urgent important matrix helps you assess and manage the importance of each task. The principles underpinning the strategy come from US President Eisenhower, which is why sometimes you might also hear it called the Eisenhower matrix. Let's take a look at how it works. The matrix can be split into four quadrants with these labels. Number one, do. Number two, decide. Number three, delegate. And number four, delete. In the first quadrant are tasks that need to be completed today or tomorrow. For example, if you had an urgent report to submit by the end of the day, you would list it here. In the second quadrant, tasks that are less urgent and still important should go here. Perhaps you need to book an appointment or meeting for an upcoming project or submit a review to an existing procedure. These sorts of tasks would be recorded here. The third quadrant is for tasks which are urgent, but can actually be delegated, meaning that they are less important to you and don't specifically need you to complete them. For example, if someone calls you to ask if you can step into a meeting, you can suggest someone better suited to the job. Lower value tasks that don't require your level of expertise can be delegated too, as well as jobs that require the expertise of someone else. The fourth quadrant is where you place tasks that are unimportant and non-urgent so that you can remind yourself to avoid these. Checking your phone too often or mindlessly scrolling through social media. When it comes to delegating tasks, it's also important to remember that effective delegation relies upon you as a leader to pick the right person for the job, clearly brief the person and outline their plan of action, have them repeat the plan back to you to confirm their understanding of it, and monitor their progress and give feedback when needed. Using strategies and tools like the urgent and important matrix will strengthen your delegation skills over time so that you become an expert in time management and prioritization.